Lifeboat server, which as you guys know is Lifeboat network um, when it comes to when you're doing other stuff. But uh, today I'm going to help you guys learn Lifeboat a little bit. So there's two ways to get to the shop, and this is one thing I see everyone ask in the chat constantly. Uh, if I scroll up a little bit here, you guys can see. Um, you can see we're trying to help this dude sell, and he's just not getting it. So with that said, uh, further ado, let's get into it. There's two ways. One, you can use the book, um, which is the same way when you're opening doors like this or going through your chest like so, right? Uh, you would click that button on the book and you can see the very top part says open shop from there You're gonna click and then you will see blocks ores, spawners mob drops farm buckets enchanting colored blocks and ore generators and or bulk selling now I'm not gonna worry about bulk selling because um, I don't even use that to be honest uh, we're gonna go into the different things like blocks could be all of these uh, same as like if you guys are wanting ores, you guys can see this is where the ores, uh, the, or, the, the actual ore blocks and the ores are. Um, alongside their, uh, you know, actual ores that you have to mine. But now if I wanted to sell something, let's say we wanted to sell uh, some diamonds or something. Let's go get some diamonds and I'll show you guys how to do that. But I'll also show you guys uh, through the, way, the second method. If you guys can't figure out the book or the book is not working for you, because sometimes uh, the book does bug out, uh, let's go ahead and sell some diamond blocks, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and turn these into diamond blocks, which sell for more than the regular uh, diamonds do. I usually wait till I get like uh, two stacks of 64 and a 40 before I sell, but we'll go ahead and do it now. The second way of doing it is going into chat like you're going to type here, and you're going to type in slash shop, like that. As soon as you press R2, you're going to be at the same page you were at before. Now, if you guys are doing it again, instead of having to type it again, as long as you're in the text field, press up, and you'll see that your, uh, you know, thing will come back, and then just press square. From there, you guys can go ahead and sell again, so we're going to go to ores, we're going to go to the diamond blocks, and we're going to get 19 of these bad boys, so... Over here is how you add the number here. Over here is how you subtract the number. So we'll just go ahead and get back to 19. This is sell. This is buy. All you have to do is click on sell. And then now you can see the diamond blocks that were here is now gone. And you can see at the top left, I sold for 3,420 for 19 um, diamond blocks. Now, this is a good way of farming for money. Because, again, if you let this guy fill up pretty well, you guys can sell 64 diamond blocks literally for, like, 11,580 per stack which that's how I got a lot of money on my other island now my other island is very butchered because I got tired of the mob spawns like the creepers the zombies and stuff and figured making my entire floor out of glowstone would work during night time so they wouldn't spawn but I was wrong and that was time wasted but I left it the way it was so uh, that's why I'm going to show you guys uh, that butchered island now um i didn't start the stream there because i didn't want to but when you look down here boom you see a ton of glowstone on the ground and that's from that but now we can actually use the auto sell chest which you have to pay money for um but it auto sells items as you can see and you guys can see i'm at two hundred fifty-nine thousand. And for, we yeah, got 259.4k, which is basically 259,040. Um, so yeah, you can see all that. Um, you can see right here I got stuff lined up. The mini-me stuff do uh, use up the stuff over time. So with that said, that's why I got other pickaxes lined here. Now, the only thing about Lifeboat I don't like is their uh, enchantment and repair system slash combining enchants do not work. <clears throat> and <clears throat> to show you that, let's go ahead and farm out a little bit more uh, XP, shall we? If I do like this, get myself to level 30. And I'm not, like, talking trash about Lifeboat. It's an okay server. I just wish they would fix their actual server before adding stuff. 
like nice we have an easier key feature to go to the shop but your focus should have been on the server first before adding like you should be fixing and repairing before you add new stuff that's just how i feel but, <clears throat> like for instance uh the enchantment stuff i'm about to show you once i reach level 30 here um has been broken for a very long time and they done nothing about it, but yet they brought Skyblock 2.0. And then they brought the, uh, you know, new shop function in the book. Um, so yeah, uh, they shouldn't have done that. They should have, like, focused on their server and then done that. But we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to sell off the redstone. And we're going to sell that stuff. Bring this up here. Alright, and to show you guys, it usually only takes three, but I'm going to go ahead and put a full one in. That says Unbreaking 3. Usually that's an okay enchant, because that'll usually get me Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4, which is the usual. But what I want to show you guys is a different enchant, um, which is going to have me grab a couple more of my you know, diamond picks to try to find it. So let's go grab... Let's see, is this it? No, it's going to do the unbreaking one again, right? Oof. Let's try this one. Yeah, it's going to do the unbreaking three. Alright, so the unbreaking three, let's see what it gives me. Um, just unbreaking three. Wow. <clears throat> That's broken. Because a level 30 enchant is supposed to give you 2 to 3 enchants. A level 2 enchant, which is a level 20, I think, or maybe 15, is supposed to give you 1 to 2 enchants, and then this one gives you 1 only. So this one's always supposed to proc at least 2 enchantments on it, and it didn't. It only gave me 1. Uh, that's broken. Next, um, to let you guys know what's going on with the picks, if I tried getting... Um, fortune three it'll actually drop as a efficiency four hence why i got a lot of efficiency four picks because i tried clicking it when it says fortune and this is basically all it gave me um that's broken and needs to be fixed the next thing i want to show you guys is um i got an efficiency two pick that is no this is a no get this out of my inventory nope i never touched anything it says efficiency well, on breaking two Alright, the next thing is going to be, uh, say we wanted my Fortune two, my fortune 1 pick here, right? Because <clears throat> Fortune 3 is broken. I happened to got lucky and got a Fortune 1 pick. Let's say I wanted Fortune 1 uh, and Unbreaking 3, right? Add it onto my pick. Well, first, I'm not going to have the levels to do it. But if I do this and I do Unbreaking 3... Cost 8 enchants. Okay, I do have it. So you can see it'll be Fortune 1, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 2. If I click on that, like, oh yeah, accept. Um, yeah, it, it didn't work, as you guys can see. Um, that's how you usually repair picks, but that didn't work. Same as, like, usually you're like, okay, I just want to repair a pick. It's a diamond pick. You know, grab a couple diamonds, and then you're like, go to the, you know, this... And you would throw this in, you'd throw your diamond in, usually you just do like this, and it would, um, you know, usually repair it. But I still have three diamonds, and I still have this pick. Alright, let's try again. Let's go down, throw the fortune in, throw the diamonds in, grab the pick, and three diamonds, and the pick is still here. Did not repair any as well, guys. So yeah, the uh, stuff is broken here on this server and that's what i'm saying like they need to focus on those uh, that stuff first before adding in something new to this book used to, used to be islands mini me helpers toggle fly back to hub player manager resource manager or generator auto cell chest spawner bundle and statistics and then recently not too long ago they added the open shop option to the book okay first off before you add anything into this book this needs to be dealt with like sorry lifeboat but you need you need to give negatives to new shit and start fixing like i hate to be mean that way but this has been broken now for a while um 
I mean, at least like um, like we'll say at least two months. Okay, it's been broken for two months, and you haven't fixed it. I, I mean, yeah, I spent money on the server. I'm not saying you should focus on me for spending money on the server, but I'm saying for every player's sake, that needs to be fixed. Second hand, don't give the stuff to make a portal if the portal doesn't light. <clears throat> what do I mean by that is the portal doesn't light, okay? And I know the portal dimensions work. I've showed it before in my, like, video um, that I said literally Lifeboat has issues or something. I literally made a stream during that, and this didn't light then. Okay? That's another known item that is needing to be fixed and it does need to be fixed because there's a lot of players now that come to minecraft in this version right that won't netherite you know for that netherite armor the netherite pickaxe the netherite sword netherite axe you, you catch the drift there's players who want that <clears throat> alongside new blocks in the nether say i wanted to make a world that had the new blue wood um, can't do that. It's not in the shop, and I can't go to the nether. Maybe I want to make another island out of the redwood from the nether. Can't do that either. No shop that has that. And no nether. Like, I'm sorry, lifeboat, but your priorities need to take that 360 and start fixing these issues. Right? Before you add new things, before you start working on new packs, before you ask people, what type of new pet do you want following you? No, no, no. Fix the features. End game. Then worry about new pets, new cosmetics, new packs in the store for people to buy. Then worry about that. <clears throat> Alright? So, yeah, lifeboat's good, but it's bad. It has its ups and it has its downs. Another one is literally creatures can just fall through the floor. Uh, I'm not joking either. You see the creeper. Okay. Wasn't there a little bit ago. Now it's there. Um, next thing is like spiders can climb. Yes, I understand this because they do have the ability. But this isn't the only creature that can. I've literally had creepers in here that literally just go. And then just get out. Right from like right here. I've seen it happen. Um, <clears throat> next thing, I've seen, like, my iron golems. I had to put a secondary four on this, guys, because the go the golems would literally fall out of here, and, I mean, it was okay. I, I didn't mind it too, too much, but I did, because I want them to go to the, the actual, like, way of doing this. But they were falling through and taking so much fall damage that I could easily just take out this sword and just, boop, one-tap them, and they would die. But... I don't want that. I wanted it to be this way. So there is a lot of stuff that really needs some fixing on Skyblock 2.0. I'm sorry. If you're going to make the game mode and allow people to buy things for it, like the VAP to allow people to fly, you know, um, buy the stuff like, oh, the guy you've been seeing over here that I was using this guy the mini me miner which basically is a minor version of me that's small that just does one task right um that needs to be looked at i'm killing the spider guy sorry that needs to be like you know looked at a little bit because one miner okay i put it on diamonds and it's all good um next is we need more miners allow us to have at least two or three because, I mean, there's emeralds over here. What if I wanted one mining emeralds as well? That needs to be a function, right? Um, we're only allowed one farmer, but players like me who utilizes a farm, you know, the farmers are broken because they don't always replant. And don't tell me he doesn't have the, the potatoes to do it because here we go. You can see there's four stacks and 41. And missing. Okay. Missing, 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 missing. Like, the farmers do this. Not me. The farmers. Right? When I land out here, I do this. And I never jump. I don't have to. I can sprint through my garden. 
because I have half slabs, which means it won't ruin the garden, right? And then the next thing is, okay, if it's not always the farmer doing this, it's the mobs, because the mobs will come over and start doing something like this on random ground, and it breaks the, uh, the ground, the, the farms. So that needs to be looked into because uh this is not good right i have to go back and keep doing this every time um for i've noticed like even red plate not redstone uh pressure plates wouldn't open a door um i put one on a survival world that they have in 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 this server and I step on a pressure plate, and the door does not open. That's another thing that's broken. Um, oh, what else? I know there's a lot broken here. Oh, yeah, the survival worlds don't go to them. They left PvP full enabled, so you literally can just get PvP by other players. I mean, I mean, some people might like the PvP aspect, but I don't. Um, and then the next thing is, like, instead of it being a, uh, slash claim world where you can claim land and then have, like, actual raids, uh, through claim land using TNT launchers, they don't have to do that. They can just walk up to your shit and grief you. Um, they don't have a protection way of protecting player builds. Um, tree choppers, we need three of these, or, or more. We need at least one per every type of tree right um minus asasia asasia can literally just go hop in some lava and uh never be seen again but um yeah we need one miner for every tree we need a miner um up to about four right for these um and then for gardens uh i wish they would fix the ai to replant because sometimes they don't you can see they it's doing it pretty okay now, but like what happened to my melon seeds here, right? Well, not melons, but pumpkin seeds. Uh, what happened all through this? Like mobs caused that, not me, because again I would do this, and you can see I landed just fine in between the two. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely not me causing that. This is game bugs that the server issues called. Um next thing is another problem mobs should not spawn in lit areas and i bet you here in a bit let me kill this creeper right quick guys it's gonna get on my nerves um you're gonna see mobs walking around this um I, they'll, they'll actually spawn like out this way and just walk this way they actually do do it i mean sometimes they do spawn over here but again like Light, 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 light. And I'm playing on zero brightness, by the way, guys. Which means all this brightness looks like I'm playing on, like, ten brightness. No, no, no. I'm playing on zero. And I should actually be on zero. Let's make sure. Right? Uh, we're going to go to video. Yeah, look. Brightness. Zero. Zero brightness. Right? And it's this bright for zero brightness. And mobs are still spawning. There's literally basically no way. Like maybe like right here, where there's a lot of dark through here. But all this area to this, no. Up here, definitely not. And I bet you we will see mobs at some point. That's just how broken uh, their server is. That really needs to be fixed. I'm going to go mine for a second, and you'll see what I mean. Um, yeah. Here in a bit. Oh, it's turning daytime, so we may not see mobs now that it's turning day. Or we may. Sometimes they do spawn during the day. We'll see. Um, uh-oh. Hold on. Let's make sure I'm not using my fortune pick here. Because <laughs> I want to wait till they fix it so I can actually repair my items before I use that bad boy. And we're going to put it, like, way at the bottom. Even my silk touch there. Um, I'm breaking three. Pickaxe and go there. Alright. 
See, I'm 13 in levels now. Let's mine up to get back to 30 and uh, see how this goes, right? Uh, what happened to my levels? It said 15, and now I'm back to 28 somehow, like, immediately. these would be immediately spawning for the fact of like with a high-end pickaxe you can see like if I'm not moving my cursor up and like mining way back there I'd be mining up my uh, generators constantly ah, almost there like really almost there to 30 and then we'll be able to enchant another pick which I'm hoping for okay there we go 30 in my inventory I don't need or want. So we're going to go sell, sell, sell. This can't be sold. This, 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 that. This, 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 and that. All can be sold. Except for the, uh, whoops. Didn't mean to put the quartz in there. Alright. I picked up a torch somehow. So something I broke gave me a torch. And I'm not seeing where I would have mined a torch from, from right here. I mean, maybe it could have been like... Nope. I really don't know where I picked this torch up from. But... I need to figure out where. It's not nighttime, so I can't really see what's super dark. That has glowstone at it. You know what? I'll place the uh, torch right here. There. All right. Back to what we were doing. Grab a couple of these. I don't see why not. This, this, and this can be sold. That can be sold. And this goes into the box. All right. We're good. That bad boy in, this bad boy in. So there there we go, efficiency four. Alright, here's a fortune one. Alright, let's try it. We'll click fortune, right? So it's supposed to give me fortune one. Let's see. Did it? Nope, unbreaking two. Unbreaking three, efficiency four. Nope, no fortune one. Like I said, guys, it's, it's broke. Um... Definitely needs a big fix there. Uh, sun breaking two pick can actually be tossed into the void. It's no longer needed. Because at least I won't mind breaking three. Right. I can throw this in here. And if they ever do fix it, I can connect that with this. And then connect... Um, a efficiency pick like this one. In with these that I connect, which will repair the pick basically full, but it'll be a efficiency uh, four, unbreaking three, uh, fortune one pick, which would be really really great to have. But because the game's being stupid right now, because this server with the server owner does not know how to make a server, um, or at least fix his server, is properly bad. I'd like to say no offense but also do take offense because I want it to be uh, fixed all right that said let's go ahead and get back to level 30 for the enchantment and uh, well hope they end up like fixing it someday so yeah I wanted to get like all the issues out of the way um, and then hope that, you know, the owners of the server goes and checks it out, and 
or at least high admins that can talk to the owner uh, to get their fucking server fixed. I mean, come on, guys. This this is not this is not good to have this many bugs on your new world and no fix coming for it. I mean, I've heard word in Discord like maybe they're working on it, but no for sure like yes they're working on it, which. That should definitely be a for sure, like, yes, we know about it, and we're definitely digging our, like, feet, paws, like, our minds, my brain cells, all that into it, and getting this fixed before we add new stuff, but they don't. Um, for those that's doing crops, if you're playing on the console version of Minecraft, which is basically the Bedrock Edition, anyone playing Bedrock Edition... It's not like Java. See, Java, crops grow no matter what. Um, but coming over to the Bedrock Edition, crops only grow if you're standing near them. Kind of like the uh, spawners work. Like, you have to be near the spawner for it to work. And if, you're don if you don't, it's not going to work. That's how crops work on Bedrock as well, and that's something Minecraft should look at. Because it should be more like the Java Edition. The Java Edition shouldn't be more bedrocky. It should be bedrock going to the Java Edition. Which I know there's a lot of things there on Java that can't work, that doesn't work because the code is different. But it should be looking more like the Java Edition. Um, they should smooth out servers more. For people that buy servers, servers should be more smooth. Um, it shouldn't be having this type of regeneration. It should be immediate. Uh, unless server owners add this type of like uh, time to it But yeah, it's like really weird and then they're like cell chest. I don't think works completely how it should um, Because I did some testing off stream and it baffled my mind with how bad these auto cell chests are uh, the auto cell chest does not give you the same amount if you go and do this because 11,500 right is what I get when I sell a stack of diamonds like wait hold on if I go through here and I do not a stack of diamonds but you guys know what I mean like if I went like this and and got 64 diamond blocks right right there um these are supposed to sell for 11,500 at least all right if you do the math I went on my other world, the one block challenge, which these sell for the same. I had, what was it? it was 9,000, all right? 9,000 coin. What's 11,500 plus 9,000? Guys, quick math. So if you think about it, 10 plus 9, okay, that's going to be 19. Add the other one because it's 11. That's 20,000. And then the 500 is 500. That should be 20,500. Shit you not. I done 64 blocks with that in this auto sell chest here. And either Minecraft can't count or the server owners fuck something up in the code. Because when I done the auto sell chest here, it gave me 18,000. When I should have had 20,500, I had 18,000. I was missing a couple thousand there. So, be careful with the auto sell chest. They don't give you what they should. Alright. So, we're going to do some simple math here. We'll say I'm at 262,000. Alright. I'm going to leave the 0.27 off. And let's see if see if this works 100% proper. Calculator. Alright, we're at 262,000. 262. 1, 2, 3. Okay. We're going to do plus 11,500. Okay, guys? Whoops, let me do that. Oh. Okay. I should be at 2,000, well, 273,500. Okay? At least when I do this, okay? Let's use it. Boom. Let's see if it goes to it. I should be 273. Okay, that one worked correctly. 273. 79k. Alright, 
So this world may be fixed. It might just be the other world that I was on. But the other world did not give me my 11,500. Um, I ended up like 18,000 when I should have had like 20,000. So maybe it could be bugged for some of it, but it, it's been kind of weird. But we're going to go ahead and sell that. Now I'm at 275,053k, which is good. Almost back to 300k. I kind of messed up the other day, guys. I had 300k. Actually, I had like 320k. But when I went to sell a stack of diamond blocks, I clicked the green one accidentally, which is buy. So I ended up buying a stack of diamond blocks, which subtracted 120,000 out of my uh yeah bank in this server so i got a little upset about it i ended up being like dude if i was a server owner um i meant to click sell and if i was live streaming it and i clicked it i would still type in slat like i'd still pay myself like fucking 120,000 back because i did unfortunately resell the diamonds back to the server and uh you know Sold my diamonds on top of that, which should actually just net me a positive amount, not a negative amount. But anyways, um, it, it upset me a little bit. They need to fix a little bit in the shop. If they're going to do anything with like the UI, what they need to do is like make it open shop. And then when you're in here and you click on an ore, instead of having buy and sell here because some people are going to be like oh sell 17 diamonds right and they're not going to read it they're going to click it or they're not paying attention and they're going to click this um they're going to buy the item what they should do as a server is make it a three-step system meaning i click on this and then it asks do i want to buy or do i want to sell then i can click on this which right now is going to tell me i don't have enough but it should do that and then from hold on the server's having issues as you guys can see this is what the server does sometimes and that needs to be fixed but let's go back in after i click sell then it should give me this page with only one option which is the sell option in the middle and remove this one that way i can come over here add or subtract the amount and just click sell without worrying about accidentally clicking a buy. And then vice versa. If I clicked on this and then I clicked on the buy, this should get removed and turned to the green block saying buy item with the same stuff here. Removing the sell option. That would be so much better. Because then you wouldn't be clicking uh, buy accidentally and, and literally losing money when you're just in there to sell. That needs to be a function. Like, yes, it's extra bits, and some people are a little bit more lazy, but I'd prefer that function instead of accidentally clicking the uh, buy function. Because the other day, I went to like sell like 64, like a stack of 64 block of diamonds, which bought the diamonds accidentally. And yeah, it was. You know what? I'll sell this stuff. It was ridiculously stupid, mind you. And you guys can see a, a zombie spawned in, right? How did he spawn? And he came from this direction. Um, I'm sorry, that's glowstone and like a thousand torches. There is no way a mob should spawn. Zero percent chance. Like maybe a cow? Yes. But a zombie or a creeper? No. I call on, can I find another one? So usually when I'm looking for them, they don't spawn. But if I go over here and farm basically all night and turn around, they build like a spider setting like up here, a creeper somehow being like back there. Now I get maybe they can spawn on my garden. Because, you know, I can only put light through here. So maybe like a dark spot here they can spawn on. But come on, game. Come on. There's no way they're spawning through this. But they do. Hence the zombie I slayed right here. Where did you come from? Torches, torches, torches. Okay, maybe he spawned here. But how would he get out of this? Torches, torches, torches. 
glowstone on top of torches? Glowstone? Like, how? Wh how? How? Okay, like, you guys can see. The server owner has stuff to fix. We're gonna do that, just because I don't want that hanging down in my eyes. Like, it makes no sense. And then the next thing is, like, why is there an Enderman spawner? Like, this, this is how low IQ this server is. Like, maybe with the bad AI, the Endermen work how they want them to. But if you give the proper AI to an Enderman, if he takes water or fire damage, he teleports. You shoot a bow, he teleports. You hit him, he's going to fight you a little bit. You hit him back, he's going to teleport. He's not going to stay in a farm. He's going to teleport out of it. So with that said, farming an Enderman is like saying a cyanide pill helps you build muscle. It makes no sense in both ways. I'm sorry, guys. They're both stupid if you think that for either of them. Um, so, yeah. No, no. Fix it. Okay, it really needs a massive fix. Now, these other YouTubers that have a lot of views that play on this server, um, you know, get that YouTuber rank. They get to be, uh, what is it like? I forget what it's actually fully called. But they get something like YouTube-wise that is also like linked. And I think they make a little bit of pay if they do, uh, you know, videos on their server. Which is not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry, but I don't care how much they pay me. If they ever paid me, like, $20,000, I still would not fucking leave my mouth shut, to be honest. This needs to be fixed. It's not good. At all. You know what? I'm just gonna place this, like, somewhere random. Like, right there. Um. So, I mean... I was thinking about doing my one-year membership to this for VIP, but if they don't fix any of this soon, um, they can kiss the VIP goodbye. Um, yeah, no. I, I would not spend money on this anymore. Because it definitely needs a fix. This stuff has been broken for way too long. And 100% need to fix. And the reason I done this, guys, I got tired of, like, having, like, all, like, where all this glowstone is. Used to be, like, a torch here, and then a torch there, and then a torch there. Like, literally all throughout. And I was still getting blown up by creepers. Um, hence, like, 50,000 torches, 50,000 torches. Uh, I did put a few up here, but not as many. But, like, you can see, like, look at that. Smack dab, 50 million torches. Um, 50 million torches. See, I wouldn't mind them if they spawned out here, but they haven't spawned out here. Did I just hear a bow? I don't think I did, actually. I don't know. I might be just be, like, hearing things. I even glowstone the bottom of the pond. Torches through here. You guys can see it, like, oh my god, a kajillion torches, guys. Ain't like, no joke. Torches, 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 torches. Like, dude, it was even more torches over there like, but like go back and review my videos before this one and you'll see like there was 50 million torches in this area even where the bone structures used to be right here i had torches inside and on top of them and mobs were still spawning i it was ridiculous guys um hence like glowstone galore now but you can see every now and then occasionally i still have to fight the single zombie that spawns on the torches or when I'm not paying attention it spawns out here and walks up to me it makes no sense so yeah I hope you guys like the content I'm giving you I hope it's a little bit helpful for this uh, server and hopefully we can get more people uh, forcing the admins and owners to view these a little bit more you know willingly and fixing the content <clears throat> I do have an AFK pool, but I don't use it when I go to bed, guys. Okay? I'll use it for, like, oh, I need to make me a pitcher of tea. 
or um, a pitcher of Kool-Aid or say like, okay, now I'm hungry and the only thing I have is to actually make a homemade pizza, literally making the dough myself. Um, then, you know, doing the sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni, you know, then I'll sit here and go AFK and this so I don't get kicked, go fix my food, eat, come back and play again. That's usually what this is for. Or if I'm like, oh, I need to go take a pee or a poop. I have this so I don't get kicked. Um, and another reason for that <clears throat> is because this guy here will not work if I'm not in the world. So if I look at it, you guys can see this is how much he's gathered in a little amount of time since the last time I took it. But if I left the world, signed out, you know, like, like save and quit or <clears throat> say I get kicked. Um, this world is not generated anymore, so this guy does not mine the diamonds for me. Or this guy does not chop trees for me. Or that guy does not do the farm, right? So I have to at least be in the world, meaning this exact world, somewhere for my diamond person to keep mining the diamonds. And my tree person to keep mining a tree. <clears throat> Now, I'm not too worried about the farm, because, again, I'm like, it renders, but you can see, like, I don't see the plants. So, for that, the plants aren't growing. But another reason for this is because you have to stay near the golem spawner here for the golems to spawn in. Oof. Uh, for me to get this. So, you can see now I'm at 64 and 9. If I set up here just for a minute or so, we'll go ahead and set here. You guys can hear them, and they're jumping. See, they're constantly jumping. I'll show you what they're doing. So we're going to go... Uh, do I have any cobble on me? Because knowing this is going to like break and get backed up in the cobblestone generator. Well, not generator, but uh, the cobblestone thing there. Uh, we'll go through the hoppers and never reach the chest unless I pull a thing of iron out. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So we'll break this one. Oh, I actually collected it that time. But see, even the water does not push these guys when it should be. That's another broken AI function. But yeah, they just sit here and constantly jump like this. And they rarely ever fall in. So it takes a while for them to fall in. <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of what's going on there. But in order for those guys to spawn, I actually have to legitimately be right here doing this. Because if I'm out there, they don't spawn. You have to stand. You have to stand near them for them to spawn in. Where did I get this freaking torch from? What? I don't think I broke a spot for a torch up here, but you know what? We'll place it down. Actually, instead of right there, let's place it like right here, so it lights both areas equally. There we go. Good to go. I still got the torch up here, but I also got all this glowstone up here. Um, I will be turning this cobble into quartz later, but right now I'm selling the quartz to get my, uh, you know, 300 grand back. And then when I get 300 grand back, I'll be doing the uh, quartz and stuff. Alright, let's see what you got now. About the same. But we'll go ahead and take it. And turn it into blocks. And then the block can be sold over here. Okay, do that. And there's 280,065, which is good. Put that in there. And then there we go, 280,073. Now, another thing is, I had an argument with someone on the server before. They're saying, do a cactus farm. No, 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 no. If you can utilize a farm like this, right, of potatoes, do the potato farm. Or a carrot farm because carrots also sell for the same as potatoes but I'm gonna show you why so we're gonna go back in our book and go to shop right we're gonna go to farm and people are telling you to use a cactus and they only sell for eight dollars right as you can see buy sell sell is eight dollars per cactus but potatoes are 20 20 eight 20, 8, alright, do a potato farm, get your potatoes, make a large farm, harvest, replant, 
Now, don't do the, the uh, potato farm like this guy, because, well, yeah. But I'll show you guys why you want to do a potato farm. Do that. So it goes back to potatoes. All right. I'm going to show you guys what a potato, like a stack of potatoes sell for. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to go to shop. We're going to go to ores. Well, not ores. Fucking farm. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking of diamonds still. Uh, farm. There we go. Um, potato. We're going to click on the 64, which brings that to 65 since it's already one. And we're going to subtract one. From there, we're just going to click sell item. Okay. That's one. You sold 64 potatoes for $1,280. So, yeah. Big rip. Um, don't do cactus farms like people tell you. Even, like, pumpkins here sell better than a cactus. Look at that. 8, 15, 8, 15, 8, 15. Okay? Hence why I got a pumpkin farm as well. But let's go ahead and sell the rest of this potatoes, which is one, two, three, four stacks. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go. See, I almost clicked on buy. So one, two, three, four stacks gone. And you can see now we made 4,800. Actually, basically 4,000. Actually. Basically $5,000 from that. So you guys can see there's 287.13k now. So don't follow the freaking like cactus farm BS that people will tell you to do. You can make so much more money doing my way. Um, they usually say don't waste diamonds on a hoe. As in the Minecraft hoe. The tool. But you know what? I basically have a minion who makes me rich. So I got the diamonds to throw on a hoe. <laughs> Please don't take that out of context, because I know you guys will. Uh, there we go. I knew I had sticks somewhere. And I'm not going to say the next thing, because you guys will definitely take that out of context on me. And I'm not looking forward to that. There. Alright, let's go ahead and use our diamond hoe here to retail some of this land. And to show you guys that like, it should work fine... Uh, if I go to the garden side, you guys can see water is all the way through this, right? It goes all the way down. I should not be missing um, any of these due to water mistakes, okay? Let's go ahead and replant all of this, okay? And down here, do the same. You guys can see this now turned dark instead of being light like that. We're just waiting on the next one to turn light, which means water is hitting it fine crop should not be breaking. Okay. Like, see? That should not be breaking. But it does. And it's because, like, sometimes it does it when stuff is not planted. But stuff is not planted because mobs came through and ruined me farm. Okay. So we're going to go through here. You guys can see that doesn't break because I don't have to jump. Hence why I love the slabs here covering the water so I'm not falling in the water either. Good win-win there. But you guys can see if I do this. Oh, look. He didn't replant these. And I know he has the potatoes to do it. So there you go, guys. You can see he doesn't do his gardening like he should. And it's very irritating. Um, when I have to go through... And another one. I missed over this one. But guess what? I'm grabbing it now. I'll stay on this side then. Boom. You guys can see. We definitely have our garden done. Go ahead and like break in place. This is how they should be doing it. Right? Break place. Break place. Break place. Like that. If a player can do it. I know you can. you can make an AI do it. Okay, but I like to till my garden this way, because I don't need to, but the AI needs to do it the way I was just showing. Okay, 
I'm going to show you how much you can yield from one of these gardens. Hold on. Let's go ahead and do something like this. Okay. Just trust me, guys. You guys can already see the picture. Uh, that one's not growing all the way. Now it is. I do need to keep a stack on me, though, for the, uh, you know, you know, replanting purposes. Guys, I'm back to 64 already on this one. And we've only done about half of the this garden. Oh, there we go. Come here, big boy. We're going over here. You're falling off. I ain't dealing with you right now. And I mean, this is well lit. Broke one I shouldn't have broke. But you know what? We're fine. Oh yeah, I can eat infinitely, guys. Because I'm never going to get hungry. But my character still needs, to, still wants to be like, I'm hungry. Eat, feed me. Oh. And I'm guessing this is where the mob spawned in at. Before, yep. See? Mobs are spawning in my gardens and they shouldn't be. Get off. Good spider. Let's go ahead and retill this so we can replant this. And that's why mob grief needs to, uh, yeah, be deactivated by some means on this server. But the owners haven't even done that, to be honest. I go back and I'll replant every bit of my potatoes that I've plucked. This one's done. That one's done. That one's done. There's that one. Alright. We're about to see what we've made through this. Alright guys, this is one harvest, right? Of just potatoes. Okay. Keep that in mind. That's one, two, three, four, five, six thousand. Alright. Remember it's twelve hundred. So two, four, six, eight, seven thousand, two hundred. Don't believe me? We're gonna go ahead and go sell this. Open shop. We're gonna go to farm. We're gonna go to potatoes. We're gonna do 64. And now we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, right? Then we're gonna go down to 32. And then add two more to 34. And boom. Now you guys can see that one made 600, but there's one, two, three, four, five thousand, two, four, six, eight, ten. As you guys can see, that's six thousand. Uh, basically six thousand seven hundred, and we're at two nine four point two one. That's how ridiculous it is, guys, for a potato farm. I gotta fix my carrot farm, but carrots sell for basically the same. Uh, let's go ahead and make these into blocks, and then go sell them. I'm a rich mother flipper today. 294 still. Now this is where it's really going to count. 298. So I went up 4,000 from that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, 
nice and good. Um, let's see. I wonder, what if I did do this? Hold on. Let's do this. We need me helpers. See? You're only allowed one, right? But what if I did miner again? Ah, see? It says rate this content. I own it. That's weird. That I can't, like, do two miners at least. What if I wanted diamonds and emerald? Like, come on. I wish that was a thing. <clears throat> I mean, you could glitch it to do a thing. Um, because it has been glitched before. But I don't remember what I did to get it glitched. But I removed the glitch because, well, one, I didn't want to get banned. Two... Um, it was a glitch and I just didn't feel like cheating the system, but I would love another miner for that one. And then another, uh, like three tree choppers at least. So that way I can get like spruce. And then over here I can do oak. And then over here I could do something like dark oak. A fourth one would be good because I'd love birch. And that would be enough. Um, I could cheese the system because technically what I could do is create an alt account. And then in that alt, I can buy the uh, more farmers or whatever in my world uh, with the alt after inviting myself to this world. And then I would be able to put more down. But I don't think I should have to do that. You know, I should be able to have like five farmers, five tree choppers, and two miners. That would be pretty good. You know what I mean? Because then I can have like a potato farmer, I could have a carrot farmer, I could have a, uh, like, look at this, even more of this is now being broke because of that mob earlier, but, um, you know, I could have one that does pumpkins, <clears throat> and then I can make melons and make a melon farmer, so that's one, two, three, four, and then, uh, one more. I could do beetroot and have a beetroot farmer, right? And then sell everything I get through my farmers or cook and eat it if they actually make it where I get hungry. But you can see we've been playing for a while now and I'm not hungry at all. Let's go ahead and go do another pickaxe now that I got 30 levels. Let's see what I get with this one. I mean, I said I'd save, but screw it. Uh, we're going to... Give, get our enchantment on this pickaxe so I can show you guys the more broken like you know this again oh efficiency 5 I bet you it won't be efficiency 5 afterwards let's go check you can see it's right here unbreaking 2 get that dumb thing out of my inventory so yeah you guys can see it's massively broken now, I'm going to go over to a... Oh, looky there. A zombie spawned here. How? This is glowstone. To show you guys, it is glowstone. I think I have more. Uh, if I don't, I'll buy some. Even though it's going to take away from my... Bin. Let's see. Did I put it in one of these other chests? No, I did not. Alright, I'll go buy one glowstone. Right? Just to show you guys, it is glowstone. We go to... Uh, open shop. We're gonna go to... I think it's under blocks, maybe? Yeah, it's right here. See? Glowstone. Um, we'll buy one. Okay? One glowstone. It's right here. Okay? If I go and place it, <clears throat> we'll go around here. Somewhere. Like... Okay, no. We'll go this way. We'll go around that way. Like I was doing everything else. Maybe? Oh, looky here. Skeletons. Right next to glowstone. <clears throat> yeah, that's so uh, supposedly how it's supposed to work. But, let's go over here somewhere. Where I was like... Yeah, you know what? We'll add some glowstone, like, right here. Just to make sure, right? Boom. You guys can see. This looks exactly like that. Okay, it's glowstone. Say. <clears throat> There's no if buts and ands about it. It's glowstone. 
Okay. Everything I showed is glowstone. And we're still having a zombie spawn on glowstone. We're still uh, having, you know, a skeleton spawn around here next to glowstone. And again, guys, I'm playing on zero brightness. <clears throat> so if it's lit this well in zero brightness, they should not be spawning. But they are. It's weird. But, like I said, we're going to go show you guys regular enchants. So let's go to Minecraft away from the server. And show you guys how regular enchants are supposed to be dealt. Now, I will miss my diamond ore. Same as, like, if I'm not in the server, my miner quits working. So, as of now, my miner is done. Until I re-log back in and get back to my sky block. But, we're going to go to the Skyrim craft here. Which is my server world. Wait, did I? I think I changed the world to be that, like, sword world. Because I wanted to see it. Let's see. Is it going to be my realm, or is it the sword one? If it's the sword one, I'll have to change it. Yikes. <clears throat> we'll see in a minute, though. <clears throat> OM Red. Ah. <sighs> Thanks for the view, bro. Oh, good. It is this world. Good, 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 good. Oh, I'm in creative. Oof. Oh, yeah, I know why. <laughs> I went AFK making a pizza, and I didn't want to die. But just for... And so you guys were not super cheating. You guys can see if I do this. Okay, we do have netherite. But, that's also because we... Wait, why do I have two? Hold on. Did I break something? No, because I only have, like, an axe here. So, we'll put my gear up there for a second. Uh, same as this. Spawn in a pick. Alright. We'll make it a diamond pick like we've been using. And I don't need lapis this time to do a level 30 because I'm in creative. So you guys can see there's efficiency 3, right? We'll go ahead and grab that. And here's what's supposed to happen. Ooh. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, I think I know what's going on here. Despawn this pickaxe right quick. Because I need to uh, get the sickness of the other server off of my character. Because for some reason, I still have it other bit done but i will show you guys like officially what it's supposed to do my game's broken because of the freaking lifeboat server right there and did they sell their server to someone different because there lifeboat network right and it's showing that okay that's fine um Let's refresh my character by going to the store. And then we're going to hit circle from the store. And we're going to go to settings. And I need to go to global resources. And you guys can see here. Deactivate that. I don't know why that's activated. That's weird. Never do that. So lifeboat broke my resources. But there we go. Loading resource packs. This should fix my game. Hopefully. A lifeboat is like a freaking virus, my dude. Okay, there we go. Play. Uh, hopefully I didn't infect my server when I went in and done that. But we'll see. Ooh. Generating world, loading resources. I might get some lapis just to, like, not break immersion.
There we go. Sorry, guys. Now, we should be able to grab ourselves the items of need, which is going to be a pickaxe, diamond. We're going to go over here. I think lapis is found in here, isn't it? Swing shard. It has to be, because that's emerald. Uh, you know what? I'm about to go to search to go find this. For the fact that I don't feel like looking around, and I'm usually blind, so... There we go. Lapis Azuli. Actually, we'll grab a stack. Boom. Alright, so what's supposed to happen is like this. Okay. Oh no, I think I'm still infected. <laughs> uh, I'm breaking three. We'll try it. Boom. That's what's supposed to happen. I'm breaking three. Efficiency three. Silk touch one. Okay. So I got three from that. We'll do it again. Okay. Just, just to show it's not a fluke. We'll go over here and grab another diamond pick. We'll go here and I'm breaking three. Click on it. And I'm breaking three. Fortune three. Efficiency four. Okay. That's what's supposed to happen when you enchant an item in Minecraft with the three. I'll do it again. Okay. We'll do it like two more times. Okay. Go in here. Put this up there. Four lapis. I'm breaking three. You guys can see I'm breaking three, fortune two, efficiency four. Okay, one more time. Fortune three this time. If I go to it, fortune three only because it was a fortune instead of an unbreaking. But you guys get the idea. Fortune three works here. But over on the other server, it does not. You guys can see, like, three out of four gave me three enchantments for that one for the picks. Three out of four. Okay. I went to the other one and done the level three and you seen like what um one out of five give me two enchants which is weird it's supposed to give three or with a fortune pick it can give that but another thing i want to show you guys right let's see do i have any in here that's not a fortune yeah we'll do uh We'll do the Fortune 2 pick, right? To make it Fortune 3. So if I go here, Fortune 2, there's the Fortune 3, which which now makes this Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4. If I click on that, this is what's supposed to happen. Okay? That's not what happened on the other server. So, yeah. They broke things massively. Um... Same with Light My Garden. Show you it works. There's nothing missing. And this has been a server world. This world's up 24-7. Anyone can join anytime they want. And look. Nothing broken. Nothing broken. Except for these crops haven't grown because I haven't been on. I have to stand near them when I plant them. Um, nothing broken. Oh, hold on. My, you know. Oof. These. You know. Nothing broken here, apart from, like, they are missing because I haven't been setting here for them to grow. But you guys get the idea. Look at that. Okay. Nothing here broken. Let, let's go over here. Oh, melons. I even have things in the middle. And look, nothing broken. Again, the server's up 24-7. I haven't planted my nether wart yet because i got to actually find a fortress. But, you know, berry farm... Oh, here's my carrots. And these are not broken. And just like before, if I look between, there's the water, and here's the slabs. I even have me, you know, that farm with, like, these type of trees. Which is pretty good. Um, looks pretty good, doesn't it, guys? This is my, uh, you know, build for the... I'm gonna call it the underkeep, but it's called something else in actual Skyrim. Which is the dwarven area that you go under and it's all blue. That's what I'm trying to turn this place into. These are more... I forgot I'm in creative. Let me fix that. 
Uh, let's see. I need. Oh, okay. I need. Where is it? I need. Might not be under this one. It might be under this, maybe? There's planks. Is it under this? Yeah, there they are. It's these. So, this wood here is the wood you can only get from the nether. And if you don't have nether, you can't get it. Same with, like, um, this wood, which is supposed to be red. But it's crimson now, and it looks pink because of my texture pack. But pink and pink and red here uh, is only got is only able to be gotten through the Nether, same as Nether brick. Um, yeah. Oh, same as like that, this, uh, that, this is all gotten through the Nether. Same as like the weeping vines. And the twisting vines nether only so if i can't go to the nether i can't get any of those to build something like this boys in the sky block um now just like i said i was gonna do before i forget we are gonna go delete every one of these even this that i spawned in is gonna be wait, or two so you guys can see, okay, we're in iron, and none of it is netherite, so I'm not cheating anything, and I'm not the only one who's been working on this world, um, this is my single player world that I brought into the server, um, it's actually been me, it's been my boy Blueberry, it's been, um, oh, I forgot his name. I'm not going to say it just because I want to mess with him if he ever looks at the stream. Um, and then we also had Drake on here, and then we had one more. We've literally had five people working on this. Um, took a total of three days with two people, but after that, uh, the last couple of days been five people and that's why it's all like looking like it is guys okay so we have had five people working here not just me by myself and yeah um this is how the server should be running for lifeboat when it comes to mobs the farms um and if you ever notice guys like with just this little of light when I'm playing on zero, no mobs, guys, none. Look, nothing, 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 nothing. I mean, there is an iron golem, but that's because my man Blueberry loves his golems. But nothing, 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 right? No mobs. And this is less lit than what the server is. There's actually more dark spots. And there's no mobs. Just think of that, guys. Just think of that. Okay? There's less here than there is on the other server. And I have no mobs on my server compared to the lifeboat. Now, my server doesn't have the diamond ore generators or sky block or anything like that because it's not PC hosted. It's just, you know, a realm. But to show you guys, like, the regular Minecraft is not broken. Okay, it's only lifeboat. And then my world got, uh, my character here, which also plays over on lifeboat, got infected by lifeboat, and I had to, like, uninfect my character with the lifeboat, like, settings and stuff. There we go. Um, in order to actually get the enchants to work properly again. Once I did that, we were getting three enchants, literally, uh, three of the four times I done it which is how it should have been especially for lifeboat um lifeboat portals don't work over here regular minecraft they work perfectly fine and also signs don't work on lifeboat for some reason but you can see the under nether um the reason it's called that i'll show you guys why 
And this will be even more proof that we did do, like, mining to get the netherite. Um, we have all of these chests. All of these chests. The nether is mined, you know, perplexingly all the way this way, all the way over here. It does go around and connect. Goes through here. You guys can see through that. Um, go back through here. We have our pathway. It goes up to the top of the nether, which actually is where you see, I'll actually show you guys. Uh, we come out here and you can see right here where I've mined up a lot of the blue blocks, hence how we have the blue box back at home. Okay, back to flying around this area. Um, you guys seen over here that this did in fact go way out here okay yeah we've done a lot of mining hence we ran into netherite and made netherite items okay guys so i just wanted to show you that we did do this legitimately um apart from that we're looking pretty good now it's time to go right back through in order to uh come back out over here so yeah guys um everything has basically been done legit apart from blueberry but everything here has been done legit um because you guys will be able to see over here blueberry has villagers he's been working on his little shop here and I think it's time to be known, Blueberry. I know what you have done. Because if I go up here, which is his little pathway up to his little house here. See? Blueberry Sanctuary. Uh, nice rhyme. And you still got mobs still over here near your place. If I open this door, what happens? All the chickens are still raving for the carpets, dude. Look at this. You know what? We gotta give him another chicken. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know how many eggs I picked up. Okay, there's only one, so we'll despawn it since I already used it. But Blueberry. Sad to know. I do know about your, uh, yeah, your little hidden place right here. I do know about it. Um, I'm not going to get on to you, Blueberry. Uh, if that's your items, not mine. But I do know about your little secret place and what you've done when I gave you the, uh, A pig wanted to go in there too. All right, we'll put a pig in there. That's fine. Um, I do know about what you did, Blueberry. I'm upset, but you know what? It was my fault for giving you powers to do so for the night. Yeah, I kind of put that there because I didn't like him blocking this up. He blocked this up, and if you guys looked at it like this back when it was in the regular texture pack, all this like bright stuff moved around and it looked very very weird um i'll have to show you guys that on my like single player version of this world but yeah we had five people working on this and it is open for everyone 24 7 i don't even have to be online for you guys to be able to play on it but we do have uh the cow over here mama's milkers <laughs> you guys can read that on the stream if you guys want and then uh to let you guys know this is Mama Milker's shop of milk dry. Uh, we did put a chest in a frame here for you guys to know. So yeah. <laughs> Just to add a little bit more to the story of Mama Milker's there. Alright. So we have all that. I'm not going to show the uh, names of these villagers because, well... Yeah, he definitely went towards that side just to make everyone have the actual sexual uh, bit there. But yeah, you guys can see we do got like books. We do have all this other stuff. Again, it's five of us working. So all done legit. No cheats. Hints like, you know, we got all of this. Um, these, you know, all of that. Yeah. See? Basically done legit. If I go through all my chests, you guys will see, like, we have no, like, super cheated, like, stuff in. 
ba -doo, ba -doo. This is my chest, by the way, guys. This is my little humble abode up here. But, yeah, no cheats. Okay, none. Did not cheat. Or at least I can say I did not cheat. I can say Drake can say he did not cheat. Uh, we can say my other mans can say he did not cheat. But Blueberry? Bro, I cannot say the same for you. And I have to show it off on stream of me also deleting it here in a bit. There we go. Get rid of that out of his fence for him. Sorry, Blueberry, but this is what happens, man, when you cheat. Alright. We're going to go right here, and I believe it's this one. Yep. There's his little hidden door. You guys can see he almost looks like he's doing it legit. But uh, sadly to say, guys, this is Blueberry's fucking area. Okay, come in here, looks like this, it's very dark, but if I just simply click on a chest, okay, that's not cheated, but then like, where in the hell did you get all this from? That's not it. Okay, fire protection, okay, I mean, this wouldn't be bad, I mean, if this was cheated, I mean... I wouldn't mind it, because he didn't put mending on it, so he's not repairing his stuff, it'll break. And it's on gold, which breaks really quick anyways. Um, but then we go through and see diamond, netherite, right? He has, like, cobble deep slate. Okay, so I wouldn't mind this chest. You know what? This chest I won't break. But this one? That can despawn. Um, nothing... Okay, let's see what these are. Thorns. Alright, you know what? He can have those. It's fine. We do have an enchantment table. We'll say he worked for that fine. Um, Roll iron. Roll gold. Some flint. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Oh. That can be broke. Um, I know he has more. I just don't want to go down there and actually click on the freaking, like, like, step into that stuff. Okay. Okay. These counts as entities, right? <laughs> don't remember if they do or don't. Uh, anyways, I don't remember how to clear entities, so we'll just have to let that despawn. Okay, hold on. I need to pick up these to... You know what? Fuck it. We'll despawn it this way. I just want the farm chest. Oh, no. Okay, this one needs to be broken. There we go. All that can despawn. Me's no want it anymore. Because that's not mine anyways. And cobblestone. Right? Stone or cobblestone? Which one is that? Is it cobble? No. So it's regular stone. Or whatever that is. Uh, I actually don't remember what is what. Because we have, you know, uh, all these other stuffs. Where is that? It's infested stone. Okay, is there like a stone thing here? I forgot. Yeah, stone right here. It's either this, this, or... Uh... Okay, I think it's this. Yeah, it is. Alright, close the door. One, two. Okay, we'll even do this. is a little uh that let's see anything different through here not that i see oh hold on let's check all the chest whoops 
Okay, that is believable. All right. We're just going to go ahead and put this stuff up here. I mean, like, it's just one of each. Not like it's actually hurting anything. And that's his chest anyways, not mine. All right. Well, uh, you can see mobs do spawn. Because there's some mobs right there. Um, they just don't spawn in my area. All right. We cleaned up Blueberry's uh, cheating mess on the server. Um, I don't think he has, like, admin abilities on this server. He done it in my single player. So... Since this is counted as a new server and new thing, should be good. All right, we have two eggs. One, two. No luck there. All right, everything should start despawning. Um, and should not be cheated after that. So you guys can see, I don't like cheats. And sorry, Blueberry, I gotta call you out, dude, on that, but no cheating. I even said that when I uh, gave you the stuff. I only gave you the uh, stuff to teleport. Uh, the stuff for that so you can teleport. Not to go in uh, cheat mode and... Yeah, cheat. I don't mind you going AFK in cheat mode. Meaning like, you know, doing like this and coming coming up here like I do. Uh, overwatching the area like this and going AFK. But when you're actually down here playing, dude... Um, survival mode only. Uh, no creative. That way you eat and do everything how you should there. Um, and you should be farming everything legit. Alright. Let's go ahead and get outside of creative. Because I don't want to be in it anymore. Set a slash shop. As you guys can see, that's the last thing. That's why it kind of functioned over here too with what they had. And you guys can see all that different stuff, but I'm not going to do that. We're actually going to do game mode. And then now a lot of people here will use uh, the stuff there to the left. I'm used to the old version of Minecraft, so I just type in zero. And boom, I'm in survival. One is creative, and two is adventure mode, I believe. So, yeah, um, pretty good to know there. Nice and neat, yeah, all right. We're out of, uh, you know, this. We're going to hit save and quit. So you guys can understand that we are saving the world this way without the Cheaty McCheats items that he had. And showed on like stream, I don't like cheats. Um, let's go ahead and go to servers lifeboat join server because this is the server i've been playing on guys that has the sky block but now you're actually going to see how to join how to do everything and all that good stuff when it loads because their server usually does have lag galore on top of other things so yeah and to let you guys know um right here lifeboat is being updated okay oh my god fly to get this to like there we go lifeboat is being updated we have updated our server software and we are now moving our games to it one by one Look for games marked as updated on the game statue. Meaning like over here. See, survival games. All these different things, right? So you can see new game beta. Um, they'll tell you if they updated them. And you can see uh, nothing here says updated. But I always play this one. But they do have like, you know, snowball, custom mining, which is their uh, prison area. Capture the flag, creative mode, skyblock legacy, um, their cell, up to 80% off. Okay, I don't know what this goes to, but I don't want to, like, click on it. Um, they even have this, craftable trains, downloadable map, um, 
They have their temple parkour, but the one I play is over here, guys. And actually, I'm pretty good at parkour. I can say so myself, because what? I don't have to stop, my boy. I'm like an unstoppable jumper, bro. Until I miss that one. But you guys get the point. I usually don't miss that, but I'm, you know, also playing on controller right now. So, uh, yeah. Jump is X, and I have to move off that real quickly to go to the look. I'm not playing on mouse and key right now. But, uh, we are going to go to, see, they got survival mode. And this survival mode is, you know what? I'm going to show you guys how broken the survival mode is. Let's go to it. You guys can see I have my Ender backpack and everything. I got all this nice, neat stuff in here. But to show you guys how broken this is, this is other player builds, right? And this is not an infinite world. So that said, I can run into the border and get knocked backwards. But apart from that, like, okay, no, other player built this, right? Let's show you guys how broken this is. You see that? Okay. It's not protected. I can break it if I wanted to, but I'm going to put it back because I'm a nice player. Um, same as, okay, this bridge looks really nice. You know, you would think somebody may have protected it. Nope. I can break it. Um, the next thing is, I don't like how the backpack keeps going here. It should be here. That way I can scroll between my inventory here. Because you, as soon as you land on it, like, watch... See, I can clap my hands, and it still open the backpack. Um, so with that said, it should be out of the way. I should have to, like, scroll to the end for it. There's, like, survival mode stuff here that you can do. Oh, I clicked it, and nothing happened. Okay. Really clicked. I can do the other one, and nothing's happening. Okay. This is how bad the server is. You can see everyone's griefed the survival mode. Um, nobody built anything. I'm going to sit here and spam a little bit more. Nothing. Alright. Like, everywhere you go. Like, look, look at that. All the way in the background. Grief. Okay. Hold on. All the way up there. Grief. Okay. Like, nobody took the survival mode serious in this server. No one. I can go to other servers, too, if the book. There we go. See? SMH, what's new? Oh, SM, what's new? Um, become a creeper. Uh, friends and party. Cosmetic mounts. Pets. Rank manager. Chat effects. Teleport settings. SM selector. Minigame selector. Okay, I do not get fly here. But let's go to SM selector. All right? Choose a different server. Let, let's, let's go SM50. Okay? Submit already on that server okay uh, SM selector okay we're already on SM50 only thing here that I can go to is SM uh, that I mean there is 20 you know what we'll do actually let's go SM20 right leave this one blank okay let's see Yay, I'm not seeing any grief yet. Could be just a brand new world, but again, like, there's no protecting your land, so if, if someone's built something, you can grief the shit out of it. Like, okay, someone's placed this block, right? I have nothing with this character. And again, the freaking, like, backpack is here, when it should be here. Okay. Okay. Um, you can tell that block was placed by another player. I don't have the stuff to do that. But, I mean, there is random chest that will spawn like this with items in it. That you can take. And it is random because when you close it, they despawn. Um, survival does have PvP as an aspect. Meaning, like, it's full-on PvP no matter what. There's no protection. Um, again, here's another chest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Why does it go there? Here. Okay. Whoops. Did not mean to place. I meant to take. Okay. You guys can see this. And it goes away. So, I mean, I like that function, but I don't like it. All right. Let's go to our backpack and put some gear into it. So, like, torches, the wood, the dirt, 
Uh, put that book up there, the sticks up there, the raw chicken, tape the seeds, cobblestone, regular stone, and then this other stuff. If I die and lose it, I don't care. I mean, the servers are okay with that chest wise, but here we go. Here's the player build, okay? Right here. This does not randomly generate like this in a field, all right? So let's chop this tree a little bit here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our four, make a, you know, crafting table. All right, so I love how they have this world that doesn't look like it's been griefed. But now that I showed this on stream, people are going to join and it's going to be heavily griefed. So I'm not going to actually build anything in this server. Um, for survival, but let's take this. Let's take this pickaxe. Okay, this is player placed. Gone. I have it. It's mine now. Um, again, there's the world border. Hence, it said I couldn't go that way, and kicked me backwards. So we're gonna have to head that way. Oh, here we go. This was not my crafting table. Mine was down there. Okay. Player place crafting table. I can take it. Definitely not mine. Just had to show that for a second, guys. Um, let's run this way. See if we run across... Okay. We're going to have to do something here. Oh, parkour. Because I want that chest. Torch, stone, sand, all that stuff. Super easy. Okay. Again, it's super easy to get things in this one. There we go. Not take as much. Okay, that's definitely player placed, not me placed. Okay. Let's tape this, put it in there, put this here. You know what? We'll save everything I have now. Like this. And just break this. This is not placed by me, and it's breakable. Okay? To let you guys know a little secret, this should not be possible. Okay? When you're playing on a server that has survival, um, there should be an anti-grief measure. Um, and it is possible to do, because even when servers first came out, um, you can do slash claim and claim places of land and other players could not break or place until so you added people to that claim and then only the people you added to the claim could potentially, you know, break in place. Ah, it kicked me out of it. That's why it despawned. I don't know why they're all like, you know, spawning at the top of mountains here, but... That's an easy way to fix is do that. Okay, I got more of this stuff coming. Okay, as you guys can see, I can do that and it goes away. Um, These chests are plentiful. There's a player home, right? You would think, oh, that's a player home. I, I shouldn't be able to touch that. Uh, that's where you're wrong. I'm able to molest it in any way I want because this server did not have a grief protection installed. And I'm about to show that. Just give me a second. Because I'm grabbing out all this needed stuff. Let's throw it into the ender pack so if I die I don't lose it. Okay, that's why I love this ender pack. I don't drop stuff that when I die. But this is player built. You can see how they're like doing that. They're throwing like all that over there. Oh, there's grief in the background. But Okay, player home, right? Not built all the way, but you guys can see. That's definitely a player home. Furnace here, you know, somebody put some coal in here. I can steal that. Okay, crafting table. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our ender pack. Pull out our handy-dandy pickaxe. And... 
player home has now been griefed, right? Oh, there we go. So you guys can see I can do that. Now we're going to take this, put the coal up there, put that up there, put this here, put that there, and boom. Like, I've successfully raided another player, right? Oh, you have a hole. I'm not going to see where that goes. Uh, they made a heart out of flowers. You know what? When you sign back on, you're going to see it griefed. Okay. Um, I'm just doing this just to show you guys, like, they really need to fix their servers. Really, 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 really need to fix it. Okay, to my left. It's out this way. Um, let's go ahead and get some food down here, like the apples. Okay, wait. And again, guys, you can see, survival has not been taken seriously. Another chest over here. I'm going to go for that. Actually, two chests. I'll go for both. That one had nothing in it, so that's a player placed one. And there's a chest right here. Ah. Food. Obsidian cobble wood. Torches. More food. Okay. This can go up there. This go there. This goes there. Let's pull, like, two out. In case I get hungry, I can eat the two. So, yeah, no one took survival on this server anywhere near serious. And honestly, I don't think I would either. Because you can be greedy. Constantly. A bottle, book, a diamond, some stone. There's actually wood in that. Oof. That's fine. <clears throat> like, honestly, it's ridiculous. You less, least stupid. Oh, there's a player. Guess what? We see a player. Survival has it set to where now people can do this. And now he's hitting me from, like, that many blocks away. I should kill them first. Because I got the most hits in. You know what? I got a pickaxe and you don't, B. Get out of here. See, I killed them. They died. So, with that said, you guys can see, broken. Um. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's very stupid. Um, I don't think they have a combat log measure, because I believe I can do this. Still, I can go through, get all this different stuff, mini game selector, uh, world game selector, skyblock 2.0. Literally immediately. Now I don't have to worry about my stuff being lost. Like, they don't have that in place either to stop it. Like, it's, it's that stupid, guys. Like, I can get in PvP, kill someone in the survival, which is not something that should be doable in a server like this, especially if everyone can do it. And it not be called, like, something else. Um, it's just called survival mode. Usually you go to any other server, even especially on the PC. Uh, regular survival mode has a grief protection in place. This does not. Same as you can't PvP, unless, like, you have a PvP arena area that is set up usually by the admins or owner who does slash slash, like, does the world edit stuff to make a certain area, you know, uh, PvPable. Hence, like, I can't break blocks here. Okay, I just, I just can't. Um, if they can protect it against players this way, um, they should also be able to make it where certain areas are, is PvPable. Um... So, yeah, uh, very weird that it's being this ridiculous, guys. Um, so, yeah, they need to 
you know, add a non-grief, like, manner for players not to grieve each other in survival. It's the only reason I don't like survival, hence why I love my little, uh, you know, alcove of this. And I'm falling through the world because this spawn is, uh, very brilliantly stupid. Um... I do have workers that work here. Okay, I guess he chopped it all down and replaced it. And you have to feed your workers, which I actually love on this one. This world you do have to eat in, hence why I got baked potatoes. Um, but however, where is he? Oh, he's right here. I do have a diamond miner again. Now, I will give him these three potatoes. So he stays fed. Um, and I do have this dude. And you can see the diamond miner over here. I was on my other worlds. I got like billions upon zillions of light diamond blocks. But this dude does not. Because I was not in this world. So hence why I make the AFK pool. So that way I can actually grind my stuff out. Alright. Boop. So this is the world I don't think that this works properly in 24-7. Because I've had times where it does not give me what I think it should give me. Which is the 11,000 for a stack of diamond blocks. I'm not worried about diamonds, guys. I got them for days, boy, over here. Um, and I'll show you guys that. Because I got my, you know, farmer out there farming me some diamonds out of the uh, diamond generator. But also, which one is it? You know, I got the diamonds here. I got these diamond blocks here. Like, come on. I'm not worried about diamonds. Um, I haven't made a roof to this yet, but I will work on doing that. I am building this. Uh, it looks pretty good. And stuff like that. Now, um, you know, there is a lot of stuff here I can be getting. See, this is the diamond generator, guys. It just does that constantly. And he mines it up. And that's how he does that. So you can see now we're back at this. We got 64 and 11. Um, we also have this, which actually does work. I'm holding an axe right now only, so I'm not going to do that. And then, like, for this game mode, instead of the backpack, it's the book. Like, the book needs to be over here. Because usually what I like to do is, is like... Hold on. Actually. Sword. Pickaxe. Axe. Shovel. Food. Book. Okay? That's how it should be. Um, but it's not. Because every time you log in or change worlds, this book goes right to the two slot, which I don't understand why they've done that. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I haven't started the potato farm on this, uh, this world yet. Well, I mean, I have, but have. See? Look, look, look. It's this server. That only does this. Okay. you seen my single player that I flew around in for like almost 20 minutes. Showing you guys stuff. It did not have missing potatoes or missing this or missing that. I'm doing that so it's just easier to do this when I need food. Um, and my book is way over there. That's fine. Uh, just thinking about doing something. I added these. In. There we go. See, you just watch that golem fall through the world. And now he just died. Oh my god, the amount of golems that just came out. But see, if you're near the golem spawner, they spawn. Um, but yeah, I can actually kill these guys pretty quickly. Two tap. Two tap. Two tap. Two tap. Okay, and then more will spawn in here in a second. Let's get rid of the roses. And that's an easy 47 iron ingots, right? Very easy. We'll just drop them in here for now. Okay, super easy. Um, being in this world, I do get mini me helpers, uh, which are only allowed one of each, which I find very stupid. I should be able to have like five choppers. Uh, two miners, and maybe two farmers would be good. But, eh. 
Oh, there we go. Another one through the ground. Right in front of you guys on stream. That's how broken this server is. Needs fix. Um, but I do get fly on this one. So I can go right here, toggle fly. And I can fly around while being in survival mode, which is actually great. But there we go. There's, there's that uh, golem who fell way down there. And it's just now like walking around in the air somehow. Oh, there goes another one. Yeah. Broken. Okay. And there's no missing four. Uh, what the? I think this, I can see it now, but I see it better when you're up here. The dirt looks weird when you're flying. Okay. But apart from that, I do have diamond blocks here circling the, you know, that, which if I break it, it's going to take a second, guys. But there you go. The one block challenge. Okay. Um, i done all this through the one block challenge. Uh, apart from some of it is cheated. And when I say cheated, it's not really cheated. It's just, you know, cheated <laughs> by shop. Like, I can buy blocks and stuff, and I do have, you know, 25k on this one. So, you know, I can buy different blocks if need be. Do have the auto sell chest. Um, do have all that. I do have the ore generator as well. Slash, like, uh, cobblestone generator there. Hence how I'm getting a lot of the cobble. I usually just set this guy uh, to be right here where this soul sand is. I break this and place him down and let him, like, gather all that to get me some uh, cobblestone, but I don't need that right now. I'm trying to get him to get me the diamonds so I can, like, you know, make that money. All right, how much do you have in your inventory? Oh, you have 45. Thank you. I'll take that because I'm going to check on my mini-me stuff here. Okay, you still have 21. You're still, like, uh, superb. There, 27. He's got his food. He's all good and set now. There. So yeah, these guys do have to eat on this one, but they don't on the other one. I don't know if the nether works on this one or not. I haven't even tested, like, enchantments yet, because I still gotta get up the money to get the enchantments, which, by the way, guys, is, like, 50, 60,000, because I have to buy a book, which is, like, 500 a piece, and I forgot how many books it is, but I have to make, like, so many bookshelves to make level 30 enchantments possible. So, yeah. Um, Fat Rip with this world, but also Fat Rip with this server, which, if they fix the other, uh, you know, survival, like, you know, thing, uh, Skyblock, to be like this one block challenge, just make it the, that instead of this, um, then it would be much, 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 much better, because I don't really feel too much lag on this, I do have to eat... My mini-me's need to eat. Um, mobs don't seem to be broken. Like, they do spawn down here, but I mean, it's not super lit down here. And they haven't spawned in here yet, which is super lit. So, I mean, uh, I think it's a certain world for the sky block that needs to be patched to fix that out. And then on top of that, like, I haven't even tested the freaking other stuff yet. You know what? Actually... I can go ahead and make a uh, an anvil here in a bit. I don't have all the iron like I had on the other one, but I'll go ahead and make a couple uh, blocks and maybe even try to get an anvil right now. I, I doubt I have enough. Two, three. Oh, I do. Looky there. Got an anvil. All right. You know what? It's time to test. Let's put my stuff to the test a rooney all right we'll grab 18 diamonds from you okay let's see if it works this this whoops did not mean to drop a diamond and i have 18 diamonds still i don't think it's possible i think it's still broken oh enchantment cost one i don't even have a level hold on boys <laughs> that's probably why it didn't work let me grab one pickaxe off you there, kind sir, because I know you got two. And uh, we're just going to get this emerald right quick. I need one level. Alright. Let's 
go ahead and get like a couple levels here just in case. Two. Um, let's throw this back on you. Okay. And I wonder if I can force him to mine the emeralds as well if I do this. We'll see. Probably not. But let's test. Now that I got my level, let's see. Let's go here, this and here. You can see it cost one. Nope. Oh, it took my level, but I still have 18 diamonds and that. Let's try again. Okay. 18 diamonds, one of those, so it should be 17 diamonds now. Nope, it took my level again, but did not repair my pick. Or my axe there, I should say. So with that said, no, it's still broken. Uh, fat rips for that, my dudes. But let's go ahead and put this 18 diamonds back on you. Because you're working your way to get me some fat stacks, I should say. I'm going to go ahead and sell that. So I get more diamond spaces. Boop. Yeah, as you guys can see, 25.51. Um, I mean, I could go ahead and start selling the diamonds he has. Why not? This, this, this. And, come on, give me 64. I'll wait till it says 64. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Bing. Got it. Alright. Over here to you. Make that 28. And into here we go. 30k. I mean, I'm half tempted to go ahead and start getting the uh, other stuff needed, but I mean, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a good amount of books, shall we, from here? I'm half not tempted to do the nether. Let's go ahead and do 64 books. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Alright, uh, how many books do I need for, I think it's like, let's see, it's three books, and then six pieces of wood usually make a bookshelf. Oh my god, dude. I'm not one to do the math. Alright, let's see, I'm gonna have to do some math. Okay. So, we'll do this. Okay, that's 16. Uh, 16 divided by 3 is what you would do there. So, we'll do another 16, which is 32. Let's try that. Okay, I got 32 books for 16,000. Oh, Jesus. That was very expensive. All right, but let's go buy some wood now. Uh, open shop get this uh, we'll go with oak we'll grab 64 not 65 64 okay that was only 600 okay now we're gonna go to a crafting table whoops crafting table and that's 10 bookshelves all right I need more books uh, so I think I need like I don't remember exactly how much a fucking enchantment table is, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start the enchantment table in our house over here. About here. So we're going to grab the bookshelves. Do that. So enchantment table goes there. Okay. Three and three. There we go. Uh, two, there. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen more bookshelves. Yeah, it's expensive, guys. Very expensive. Okay, that only made ten. Thirty-two made ten. I need seventeen. 
and I don't have enough for another 32. So, yeah, we're working on getting that. Uh, I need obsidian, diamonds, and a book. I might go ahead and buy another book. Actually, I don't need to. I know I got obsidian. Where you at? Wait, maybe I don't? I don't know if I do or don't. Because it was me and some other people playing, but I don't remember... What all we got. I don't think I have obsidian on this world. I do. Okay, so I need... It's like... Three obsidian. Okay. Right. A book goes up top. Two diamonds. Actually, it's four obsidian. If I remember, it's like that. Uh, and two diamonds. All right. Diamond chest to my left. So there's one. Two. I have a, a crafting table in there, I forgot, but it's fine. Enchantment table. Right here. Again, this goes plopped right to the middle. Oh no, I'm gonna need torches. Because placing this, turn that dark now, because it's that. Uh, actually, I could do. I mean, it takes away from getting my level 30 enchant a little bit, but. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of glowstone. Just because I like how it looks this way. So. Eight glowstones is what I need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. say so how do I have an extra one I don't it's like that okay there we go um, enchantment table works let's go to our wood chest wherever I put that which I think is this one uh, should be like that I need dark oak but I do have this that I'm gonna put here oak wood. <laughs> I already have oak wood up there. Uh, I have another wood chest. Oh, I already done the full oak stuff there. Okay. Um, I should have looked when I was doing this, but we also have birch already. Books are going to go in the valuables resource chest because they're valuable right now. 500 a pop is very valuable. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're just having infinite golems out here. Which actually, I think golems count as entities. So, uh, which I think also counts as like why mobs are not spawning. Which is good. All right. I need to go to my diamond boy and see how much you've gotten me so far. Ah, keep that. I'm happy. Alright. Go ahead and get that. Whoops. There we go. Pop it in there. And pop that in there. Now we're back at 16,000 instead of 11. So we're good there. Um. Although I do need to make a uh, AFK pool that floats like right here in the middle. But if you guys don't know, what's going to happen is this is actually going to be like a section that comes up. And then it's going to have a ring that goes all the way around the house there and the main island. And then from that, we're going to have places that go out to like an actual garden, a tree farm, um, a city... You know, a lot of different things. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Um, 
but we got a long ways to go for that. And then I have my other world, which is the one you seen all the glowstone in earlier. That's going to be a world full of, well, the main island's going to be glowstone till we get our other islands made, which I'll be using um, slabs for, you know, these. Okay. Non-full blocks, the slab -aroonies, these things here. Okay. Um, so, bad mobs do not spawn. And then, we'll build the town around the, the uh, slabs, and just make sure you light the inside of the buildings with the full blocks, so mobs don't spawn. Which, more than likely, they will do, because it's this server. But, you know what? You can dream. Let's eat. Okay. Um, I do have other baked potatoes here that I'm going to hand out because they fill up more hunger than regular potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and go in your inventory. We're going to grab these 21 potatoes, put your 11 baked these up there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, see? That broke. I didn't jump on it. Take those 18 potatoes and give you 11 baked these. There you go. From there, we'll go over here and boop. Do that. Let those cook up to being baked potatoes. And then that's potatoes for me and the farmers again, which is good. Actually, while I'm doing that, you got 24. Uh, I gotta leave those in your inventory, but I can take the sugar cane. Because you technically don't have to replant that, and I can sell it. Because I already have massive amounts of sugar cane. Okay. Uh, same as, like, all of that stuff, too. We got... You're chopping? I haven't seen this dude eat... in a while. Which, you are chopping this to get me more of those, which is good. Um... And this dude is eating, definitely. And getting me that stuff, which is good. But I can't repair pickaxes or anything. Which is very weird for a server to do. But, yeah, pretty much everything is looking pretty darn good on this server. Apart from, like, the broken aspect of the server that is completely broken that I don't like. But, yeah. Alright, we're going to take these. Because I happen to find more inside a chest. Which I think the ones I dropped to my grandmother that she ended up probably not needing. So I'm going to, you know, put them between you and you. Okay, there we go. We got 27. And we're going to take out uh, these. Split them. Split them again because I want my 26. I'm going to put, uh, actually, let's see, that goes to the 27. You know what, I'll keep, wait, I'll keep 7, and I'll go ahead and drop him the 28 here, right, because I don't eat as often as he does. So, there we go, he has his baked potatoes and those to plant. So, what we'll do is like this. Which should work, I hope. We'll see. Wait, I think he's not doing anything, because I think he might have broke the diamond. No, it's still there. Still full. But see, they don't like... Do like he should be. See, they should be doing this. Come on, bro. Get on your job. Also, let me fix this right quick. Because your dumb, dumb self didn't uh, do that. If you're gonna, you know, deal with the garden, you gotta learn to replant it, big boy. There we go. Oh, he's eating. Pumpkin seed. Alright. We'll put that on our pumpkins later, because, uh, yeah. But I don't need the two seeds I have now, so I'll go sell these. Because I can just turn pumpkins into seeds anyways. Boom. 
I'll get that. And we're doing pretty good. As you guys can see. Um, I wish this dude uh, had a fortune on him. It would be way better. But we don't have fortune yet. Sadly. And we're only level 3. We need to grind more levels by doing the same thing he's doing called mining. Which I'll be able to do later. Because I have a really good setup for this mine over here. Because now I can just take a pickaxe and go break, break, break. Break, break, break. And I have it set to where it's literally break this, 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 and this. And it will literally drop XP. So these four are XP. And then I can actually do this, 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 and the diamond. And get even more XP when I'm breaking them. And I'll be able to constant break when doing it that way. But that's when I get around to doing that. Um, which is after I get my enchantment table. So, once this dude gains me my enchantment table with all those diamonds, uh, I'm going to set him back on this block, and then I'm going to come over here and just grind out the XP. <laughs> That's kind of my plan. So, yeah. Pretty good. Um... I don't know what game mode they're in, so I'm not going to answer that just for that reason. If they would be like, oh, I'm in this game mode, how do I do this? Then I could be like, okay. Okay, I guess they're just asking, like, invite, when they should have just said, how do I invite people, not see other people's houses? Um, okay, there we go. He's doing it for me anyway, so thank you, their uh, money. I'm not going to say the first part, because Little Wayne was already fucking terrible enough. Now we have more people trying to use Little in their name. No offense to you, uh, you know, Little Wayne lovers out there, but... Someone who sounds like this should not be in the music in industry. You know, no offense. Um, hence why we got Eminem, even better. Uh, we got Dr. Dre, even better. 50 Cent, even better. So, I mean, yeah, let's leave, let's leave it to the people who know what they're doing. Sorry guys, I was not paying attention. Go ahead and farm up some of this, shall we? And then go see if it sells. How much you sell for? Can I sell you? Yes, I can. Alright, not bad, not bad. I mean, it's not a very good farm, but you know what? It's okay, at least. Um, the only ones I'm going to mine up is this one. This one. And that one. For the fact of they're actually fine. Hence them regrowing. Um, the other one, I don't know what broke it. But we are going to go over here and sell this pumpkin. These three pumpkins. Boop. And that'll net me a little bit of cash in. Not much. It's like 20, 40, 60, you know, 60. So it's going to just do 0.81. Which is fine for that. Ooh. Now we're looking at some pretty okay diamonds here. Let's go ahead and go sell these. Boop. All 21 right into that put these three back in his inventory and now we're back at thir uh, 20,000 at least which is pretty okay but we're gonna need a way more than that so in total it requires 50,000 uh, in order to get a full working enchantment table all in one go but now that I already got 10 down and only need like what was it uh like 14 like 17 more i believe um let's go ahead and get a couple more books while i can open shop uh we're gonna go book enchantings and then books and we're gonna go ahead and grab like uh let's see if i can grab 
32 of these. I don't think I can, but... Oh, I can. Let's go. That's 10 more books. That's 16,000 down the drain. But you know what? We're fine. Because uh, we already have 4,000. Plus 11's back to 14. So, we're good. Uh, would, 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 this one? No. This one? Yes. That. I uh, already have a nice little table here. We do 10. All but two books. Oh, I can actually do 11. Hey, let's go. I can go ahead and do another. Oh, am I not able to? What do I need for it? Three books and... Oh, I'm just low on wood. You know what? Any of the leftovers will go right there. Let's go ahead and just smash out that last bit here and put these back up there. Smash out the back row. Smash out. Ooh, actually, I got six. I can smash out that. We're just missing six book six bookshelves now. All right, let's get it. From there, I can do level twenty enchants because we have that. But I need six more bookshelves in order to get level thirty. Let's go, boys! I'm just smashing some stuff. Um, I don't really need a row for diamond blocks because I've just been selling them. So, you know what? We'll go sell these. And that should net me in, like, a few thousand. After I check your inventory. For that nice 64 that's in there. To, uh, get seven more. So I got 56 shelves. Well, 56 diamond blocks to sell. Which nets me back to 14 grand. Let's get it. Alright. Let's see. Shop, I need six. So, that'd be what? Six bookshelves. Let's see. Let's back that up. Eighteen. I need eighteen more books. Can I get eighteen books? <clears throat> okay, we'll do 18 times 500, which is 9,000. I have enough. All right. And it was 18. 17, 18. Boop. Which cost me 9,000. Looky there. Let's grab out some wood from the wood. Oh, I was in the right chest. From the little woody chest. One, two, three. Smash out these bookshelves, which is six. From there, we're going to go back in here. And plop those back in. Check that out, boys. We got our full enchantment table going. All on stream, fairly quickly. See, you can get stuff going pretty quickly that way, boys. All right, so what we're going to do is go up here, and I'm going to find a portion of this house, like, back here, and we're going to add in our netty portal. Okay. Uh, I know I have the obsidian. Wait, I used some of the obsidian. Yikesies. I forgot which chest it was in. It's in this one. We don't have enough obsidian for a full portal, but we will place a portal, though. So, that, um, we'll go one, two, three, four, okay. <clears throat> so, one, two, three, four, five, okay.
Oh, I, I fudged that so hard because it's nighttime and it's hard to see. I need a diamond pick. That I will break this with. Because I did not mean to place it right there. And this is going to take forever since it's not an efficiency pick. But hey, that's fine. So we just got to jump and place like that. Then we take this over and we'll be good to go. Hey, let's get it. We're almost there for... Actually, how much is obsidian? I don't think it's like a ton, is it? I might have enough to just buy it. Because I only need like, what, four pieces of obsidian? It's under here. 50 a piece. Four. Hey, I can bang that right out. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's get it, boys. Let's see if this works. I doubt that it will, but you know what? Let's have high hopes. Alright. I need... Oh, I need flint as well. I forgot about that. Alright, you know what? I do got the steel. See if I can buy the flint. Shall we? Mob ores. No, I meant to go to mob drops. My bad. Uh, spawners. Mob drops. There we go. I don't think they drop flint, though. See, ore generators, colored blocks, buckets, farm, maybe? Nope. Uh, or, okay, maybe flint may drop in ores, maybe. Nope. Mm. Could this be in blocks, then? That's a big nope as well, but I can get gravel, though. And just do this. Till it turns into flint. There we go. Flint and steel. Let's get it. There's my nice neat little flint and steel. Let's see if the portal works. Oh my god, it's so dark it's hard to see. Nope. Still does not work. Okay. At least we know. That that does not work still. <clears throat> kind of had a feeling. I mean, I wanted to test it for the fact of, like, we are getting nether blocks right here. But the flint and steel is still not working for the uh, nether portal, sadly. Now that's grown that way. I want to fix that. I put this in the way that I put it because of the fact I wanted it to be proper. Let me go to you right quick. I need this hoe. That's how it should be. And bamboo can't be sold if I do that. You can see it stays in the chest because it can't be sold. Sadly. Let's go ahead and re-put your nice little, you know, bat back in your inventory. And we're going to go sell this pumpkin for 20. Alright. Bamboo. Uh, since I already got a lot of you, you can just be chucked right off the side there. Hence all of that. Um, if I need bamboo, I can just chop it. But there we go. That's how that should be. Uh, no one has bone mildew. Sad rip. But we, however, do have that. So we can actually go ahead and plant another tree. In case we just need want to chop one later. Which is pretty good. Again, these guys are here. So one, two...
and no more, which means I gotta wait for him to spawn with me standing nearby. The iron I just used, I just caught back. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing things quite ridiculously here for a while, but it's perfectly fine. And here's my bed. Sleep. So it goes daytime. Hey, looky there. Hey, it's at my respawn point. That's actually nice. But it is daytime now, which is good. Um, I might need to do that to the other world to fix that too. But let's test it. Um, let's go right here and stick our uh, stuff in. I know I keep inventory, but boop. Um, all right, let's try it. Let's just jump off and uh, see if I keep my levels, which I know I won't, but let's see if I respawn on my bed. Hey, I respawned on my bed. Let's go. As everyone can see, everything there is working nicely. Let's go ahead and pull out our axe and this, and my levels did not keep. That's the downside. Like, I do get to keep my, like, diamond stuff and my food. I'll show you guys that right quick. If I jump right here. See? I keep my stuff. I just don't keep my levels, which is very, very weird. How is that a thing? Because if you do keep inventory, your levels should stay as well. Which is kind of weird that they don't. But, yeah. I mean, I don't mind it too much. This guy's been mining away. Thanks for those diamonds, bro. I'll use those and go sell them. Right into here. Make the big bucks. Uh, I didn't make as much as I should have, but that's fine. I should be at, I think, 9,000 from what I sold. But I didn't, which is weird. Um, this dude should be picking up all the saplings, not me. And he's... <laughs> Jesus Lord at like 50 saplings. Just uh, hold on. You don't need 50 saplings. Maybe six will be fine. And we'll sell 45 of them for like I think a dollar. There we go. Uh, the diamonds go back on you though. That's what I was doing in your inventory. Boom. So yeah, he's basically like making me rich. Um. We're going to go ahead and log our character out over here by our bed. And go to our uh, end, end stream, guys. So I wanted to be a little helpful to you guys on Skyblock. To show you guys like the way to make the big bucks. Yes, it takes a little bit longer. But let's see. This dude was making $3,000 a minute when I can make like 11000 Plus, like, my potatoes, which is, like, 1,250 a pop. Um, I can make a good, like... Like, if you guys have the time and the willpower, you guys can literally make that farm I showed you. Like, 400 blocks. And then just mine all 400 potato, like, 400 blocks long by four. So that's 400 times four. Okay, that's 800 potatoes. Mine all 800 place all 800 and then the leftovers you sell and you can literally make like tons bro like let's see i was making like what seven thousand just for the amount that i had if you done a 400 by four you're possibly making you're probably netting in like 12 to 14,000 on top of the diamond thing I showed you which will net you 11,000 yeah there's no keeping up with that with like any, any any way that these guys want to tell you it but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that it's ridiculous you guys can make a lot of money using potatoes and diamonds if you have the diamond generator if you don't have a diamond generator just make a large potato farm and Moi moi, you're you're gonna be raking in the dough. Um 
and you can do literally like potatoes off the rip because while you mine use your first like set of iron you get to make some iron pickaxes and then just use the generator to mine up like a few diamonds a couple things here and there sell them using the shop command or the book like i showed you and net in the stuff to make like buy four potatoes then you know buy like start netting in like plant those four potatoes pick them up plant them back sell the extra pick them up plant them back sell the extra keep doing that you're gonna start making just a little bit here and there but you're gonna make more than a cactus because a cactus like you know if you get four yes that's like uh they go three high times four which you know is eight dollars a piece which you know does net in a little quicker than potatoes in the beginning but when you hit that end game twenty dollars of like 400 potatoes bruh think of that you get 400 potatoes potatoes drop like what four to six potatoes per harvest um per potato like one plant can drop between three to six potatoes right we'll say in case you're you're getting bad luck they're only dropping two 400 times two is 800 guys when you plant your 400 you still have 400 left then you would do those 400 potatoes times 20. Like, hold on, guys. I'll tell you what that net worth is. Okay? Let's say you've done that farm, and you're selling 400 potatoes at a time. Okay? That's 400 times the amount, which is 20. That's $8,000, guys. Okay? That's 8000 Imagine that 8000 Plus your 11,500 that you get um, per time you do your diamonds when you do a whole stack. That's like freaking $19,500 every few minutes, dude. Like every few minutes you're getting that compared to 4,000 per minute. You're literally going to be pulling in the net worth of the server, guys. It's ridiculous. But as always, smash the like, subscribe button, don't forget the bell icon. Till next time, stay awesome, and peace.